The federal government is launching a civil rights probe of Georgia's prisons. We first told you about this yesterday at noon. Assistant Attorney General Kirsten Clark says the focus is going to be reducing prisoner on prisoner violence as well as sexual abuse by both prisoners and staff. A former inmate and advocate for inmate rights tells our Hope Ford he applauds the investigation, but he's witnessed abuse firsthand. In the past year, oh, not there's been complaints of deteriorating prison conditions, staffing shortages from former correctional officers. You don't know how long it's going to take for backup to get there. And inmates dying by suicide. I'm so in disbelief that he's gone. Now the U.S. Department of Justice is examining a statewide civil investigation into prisons of Georgia. I'm telling you, my spirit leaped because I know that many of our brothers have been crying out for a long time. Dwight Futch organized protests, called for a deeper look into Georgia prisons. He says he's seen danger when he was an inmate at Cobb County Detention Center. I've had an opportunity to see the inmate on inmate beatings. I've seen some of uh, them uh, being raped and sexually assaulted inside these institutions. The Justice Department will look at extreme staffing shortages, violence and accusations of neglect. The Assistant Attorney General reporting 18 people were killed in Georgia prisons this year. 11 Alive investigators found 29 people died by suicide in 2020, a rate three times the national average at state prisons. Some of our brothers are going to prison on five and 10 years, and their mamas and daddies are getting the call that their sons and daughters are dead. The investigation announced days after the Southern Center for Human Rights filed a lawsuit against Georgia State Prison calling conditions inhumane. The Georgia Department of Corrections denied misconduct and neglect, saying in a statement to USA Today, they are committed to the safety of all the offenders in its custody. Futch says the scrutiny is overdue. They will uncover a pattern or practice of these issues. I do believe that. Cobb County Detention Center is not part of the 15 prisons to be investigated. However, five of eight prisons that were put on lockdown in June of 2020 will be. The Justice Department called the inquiry a top priority.